Parker right there, but Poovey comes out with the lead. A tight three-rider freight train up front. And look at Camlin, number 27. Davey Camlin is from Rock Island, Illinois. And believe me, this kid is up there in the big leagues today. He has not run very much with these guys. He's having the time of his life. I, I guarantee you, he's thrilled right now to be around this competition. He's just getting it on. Camlin's a good young racer. Let's not discredit him at all, but he has not near the experience nor the equipment for the most part that these uh, three guys up front, and he's around Booby and in the draft of the Harley Factory Stars as Carr takes the lead. If Camlin can get third place and transfer out of this heat race, he is going to be a happy camper. I guarantee you, his heart's going a million miles an hour right now. He's just thinking, God, I'm up front and I'm running with the guys. Now look at that. He got around Parker for a moment as uh, Ronnie Jones' wife looks on, checking times, and sees Parker retake the lead. She very well knows that uh, Parker's one of the guys her husband's going to have to deal with later this afternoon. Parker, the leader. Carr is second. Camlin is the challenger. And Boovey is back in fourth spot. Remember, only the top three will transfer. And as they rocket down the backstretch, it is clearly a four-man battle for those three positions. We get glimpses of the 98 of Brian Atherton and the 66 of Joe Roeder. They are out of the transfer positions right now as Carr goes up high. And what was that little uh, indication as he hung his uh, left hand off? I think he's just trying to tell everybody he's out here. You know, when you get hung out on the outside of the racetrack, you want to make sure that everybody knows you're there and you want to make sure nobody moves over quickly in front of you. They could obviously force him up into the fence in that uh, in that circumstance. What happened was when he left the bottom open, your guy Parker shot right through it and moved out to a big lead. Carr now second. Camlin still there and hanging on in third. And Poovey has moved around him now to take third and drop Camlin to fourth. Great race up front. A preview of the kind of action we're going to see in the main event. And remember, this is just a third of the field here in the heat race. Look behind the start-finish line. See those black clouds? That is one of the big concerns here today. Rain threatening the racetrack as heat race number one battling continues. They call this the rolling thunder show. And Bill, I think today that may have a literal connotation. Here as they peel off into turn three, Camlin has lost a little ground and is in danger of losing the draft. What he's in danger of doing is losing a three-rider windshield. What that means is the draft. He's got to use it to stay up front. But if they get a little bit away from him, he won't have that to use anymore, and it's critical to stay in that draft. It's exactly like stock car racing. Parker rode the draft right there and into the lead, and I think we can go back and take another look at that and see how the draft works. He's using the riders in front of him. He's tucking in behind him. He's going to fill in that little vacuum that's behind him, and at the last moment, he'll use that to jet by him on the inside. There's no wind resistance when he's right behind Chris Carr. It gives him a little burst of speed. He ducks to the inside again. It's just like stock car racing and also like stock car racing. The white flag indicates one lap to go and it is shootout time on the mile and look at Poovy come to life on the last lap. Again the question of the draft. Do you want to be leading it or do you want to be second or third? Come to the checker. Boy, that's, that's the forever tough question to answer. Some guys like the lead. Some guys like to be second. Scotty usually likes to lead, but you never know. You never know exactly where to be on the last lap. It's a critical maneuver. Scotty wanted the lead right there. He takes the advantage. Here comes Carr. He'll try to make the draft pass. Checkered flag waits. Oh, that's close. I'm not sure. They were three wide when they hit the finish line. Give it to Chris Carr. Carr beats his championship rival, Parker, by inches in the heat. Poovy gets the other transfer spot. Let's go to Larry Myers with the winner. Chris, an outstanding ride in heat race number one. That kind of sets up the day. Well, I certainly hope so. Uh, I'd like to be able to repeat that, not only in the Camel Challenge, but uh, 25 lap main event as well. Uh, Scotty and uh, Terry Poover were going real good, as well as Dave Camel, and he was running really strong. So uh, it's a great race. It's a good preview for the main event. All right, congratulations, Chris Carr. Stay tuned for Heat 